All right, everybody, welcome back to yet another brand new video here on the channel. Today, we're going over the leaked Fortnite Season 7 Week 6 challenges. Yes, that's right. The Week 6 challenges have already been leaked for Season 7, and today, I'm showing you guys every single challenge so you guys know exactly what to expect when the Week 6 challenges do roll out. Huge shout out to everyone who is liking, commenting, and subscribing. Thank you guys so much for all the support recently. You guys have been absolutely killing it. If you guys want to get featured in the video like these guys and make sure to go down and drop this video a like and also comment down below let me know your thoughts and opinions on today's item shop he is not gonna lie this is probably one of my more favorite item shops we've had in a while snowfoot might be one of the sickest skins in the game so far it is definitely a top 10 skin in my book for sure and it's only 1500 v bucks so let me know what you guys think of today's item shop down in the comments below also if you guys have not already make sure to go down and subscribe to my channel i'm really trying to hit 50k within like like a few months that's like my next goal so the sooner we can hit 50,000 subscribers the better so if you guys want to help me grow the channel and help me reach my goal of 50,000 subscribers then make sure to go down and subscribe to my channel it is much appreciated by myself one last thing make sure you guys are using my code hey it's Ben J in the item shop the money I make from you guys using my code will go into giveaways back to you guys in the future so if you guys want to support future giveaways then make sure you guys are using my code hey it's Ben J in the item shop and also make sure to follow me on Twitter at hey it's Ben J and also tweet me a picture of you guys using my code to get a shout out in the video like these guys. I'll be shouting out and also following everyone that does that on Twitter so make sure to go do that. So without further ado, let's get right into the season 7 week 6 leaked challenges. So as you guys obviously know, each season of Fortnite has 10 weeks of weekly challenges and obviously these weekly challenges help you rank up your battle pass and also help you level up and also obviously do the battle pass you guys get items as well you guys know all this stuff i don't know why i'm saying it as of right now it is week five and i believe we're like a day or two in the week five and already the week six challenges for season seven have been leaked so without further ado i'm gonna go over them right now so lucas seven yoshi who's actually a data miner for fortnite was the one that found all of the week six challenges and he actually whipped up a pretty nice chart for you guys here to look at and observe so without further ado i'm gonna go over every single one so here we go so the the first one is gonna be a stage challenge. As you guys know, Fortnite recently added like stage challenges, I believe with season five or season six. And ever since then, like stage challenges have been a thing for weekly challenges in Fortnite. But anyway, the first one is deal damage with weapons. The first stage is going to be SMGs. The second stage is gonna be assault rifles. And the third stage is going to be grenades, clingers, or stink bombs. So this one won't really be too hard at all. Realistically, you just have to like play the game and eventually you'll do these. If you wanna go like directly for the challenges though they're pretty easy to do next i'm kind of iffy about this might be a little off but who knows the next one is deal damage with different weapons in a single match one of the challenges is going to be dealing damage with 10 different weapons in a single match now i don't know about you guys but usually i use like five to six different weapons in a match maybe like seven or eight so this one might actually be kind of difficult to use 10 different weapons in a single match but hey if this turns out to be true i don't think it'll be like too hard to do really you just have to pick up a variety of different weapons and then use them so i guess that's not like the hardest challenge we've ever seen but anyway moving on to the third challenge is going to be eliminate opponents in lucky landing or tilted towers we've seen challenges like this in the past where you have to eliminate opponents in two different areas so for this one obviously you can either go to lucky landings or tilted towers and all you have to do is kill three opponents there and boom the challenge is finished i want to clarify like you don't have to kill three people in lucky and three people in tilted like it's a combined three within those two places now Next, search an ammo box in different named locations, and for that, you're going to have to do that in five different locations, so once again, a pretty simple and easy challenge to do. You could probably honestly knock that out in one game if you really wanted to, but anyway, next, this one is a different one we have not seen before in the game, and it is search chili gnomes. Now, as of right now, we don't know what chili gnomes are or what they look like, but they're probably going to be similar to the one challenge we had previously where you had to, like, find in gnomes around the map. If you guys remember that one, I believe it was season six where that one was first introduced so it's probably going to be like a similar challenge where you just go around the map and find these gnomes and for this one there are five total gnomes you have to search next this one is also a new one it is slide an ice puck over 150 meters in a single throw now i'm pretty sure this one is going to be a battle pass challenge as you guys know there are free challenges and there are also battle pass challenges and i believe it was through the battle pass that you can get the ice puck toy so i definitely think this challenge right here is only going to be available to battle pass owners 
corners. But this one does sound pretty simple. It sounds like all you have to do is throw an ice puck on ice. And really all you have to do is let it travel for 150 meters and it's that easy. And you have to do that a total of five times. So that one honestly probably won't be that hard at all. Realistically, you just have to go find a spot where you can throw an ice puck over 150 meters in ice. And you just have to throw it a total of five times and boom, that challenge is done. And finally, we're ending on yet another pretty simple challenge for week six and that is visit two named locations in a single match. Now this is going to be another one of those like stage challenges. So the first one is you're going to have to visit Polar Peak and Tilted in a single match. Next, you're going to have to visit Lucky and Retail in a single match. And finally, the last one is going to be Lazy and Shifty in a single match. So once again, this one's another pretty easy challenge. All you have to do is drop at one location and then move to the other one. So that concludes all of the challenges for week six in season seven. Let me know down in the comments below, do you guys think these challenges are going to be hard once they release in the game? Personally, I don't think they're going to be hard at all. Personally, I've been able to knock out all of the challenges in one day. Like honestly, if you just grind straight for challenges and nothing else, then you can complete these in, you know, less than a day. But let me know down in the comments below, what do you guys think of the week six challenges? Do you guys think these are going to be hard? Which one do you guys think is going to be the hardest? Let me know down in the comments below. But anyway, I've kind of been just walking and talking the whole time. We're top 11 with honestly some pretty good loot. I'm not going to lie. I've not seen a single person at all, probably because I dropped shifty by myself. But honestly, I'm trying to get into a fight here. So uh, let's just uh, go ahead and do that. Dang, if we're going this hard. Oh, oh, no. What? Bill. Okay, how many masses does this guy have? Dude, I, there's no way I just walked around for like 15 minutes straight just for that to happen to me. Why didn't that RPG do any damage to him? I shot him like right above him. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video covering the Fortnite Season 7 Week 6 challenges. If you guys did happen to enjoy this video, please make sure to go down and leave this video a like. I do appreciate any support I get in my videos. So if you guys did happen to enjoy this video, then feel free to go down and leave this video a like. Comment down below, let me know your thoughts and opinions on the Fortnite Season 7 Week 6 challenges. Let me know down in the comments below, are you guys going to be doing these challenges for Week 6? Check out my last video if you have not already, there's going to be a link to it in the description as well as at the end of this video so make sure to go watch that video leave that video a like a comment all the above and lastly most importantly please make sure to go down and subscribe to my youtube channel and when you do subscribe turn on my post notifications so you're notified every single time i post a youtube video and yeah that's been it hopefully you guys did enjoy and i'll talk to you guys next time peace